hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is the first time please subscribe like and share thank you so much we'll be learning how to cut this trendy overlapping sleeve as you can see it was used for a corset is um overlapping or will i call it the wrap sleeve so first we'll start by sketching out your sleeve pattern in this when sketching out your sleeve, sleeve pattern don't add any allowance don't just do exactly your round arm so what we're going to do is to the sleeve pattern i made is short so i'll be adding extra one inch um to the um down part of the sleeve to add to the length of the sleeve then i'll be marking out my line to demarcate where the real sleeve started and what we're going to add that so now we'll be adding five inch that is extra five inches by the side of the sleeve and upwards i'll be adding another five inches and this five inches i started it to six because i wanted it to have the um so the next thing i'll be doing is to connect my sleeve to that point that is to connect my sleeve um shape to the point the new point that i made I don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say but as you can see you understand by seeing what i'm doing so i'll be going up by three inches i went up by two but it wasn't enough so i want it to be visible that that was a wrap sleeve so i also went up by three inches so i did went up by three inches and slanted so if you want to get this slant you can go in by three inches width before to get this slant so that um you won't overcut your sleeve so after doing that i'll be cutting it through and this is on fold remember when you're cutting this thing is on fold this is somehow tricky because it you is it, looking small but it can it can it can take fabric when trying to do the sleeve so after cutting it i will cut it open it's on fold but after cutting it i'll cut it open because i need to sew that place and turn it so now this is my um new pattern for my sleeve what i'll be doing is to recut it again i'm recutting it for the lining because um it's not for the lining sorry i'm recutting it for the other part of the sleeve the one i first cut is one wrap so i need to cut another wrap i need to cut another wrap that will also come on top or come under any of them so that's what you're trying to see that's what you're seeing me doing trying to cut and get uh, another of this sleeve to get another of this sleeve that's what i'm trying to do So as you can see, I've, I'm done cutting it and I'm trimming uh, trimming it open. I, I opened it. Now it's four, not... This is for just one sleeve. Oh. Now it's four. So what I'm going to be doing now is to stitch that place, that three inches up that I curved. I'll be stitching it close. And don't, don't, don't stitch any other part except the part that you... In case if your fabric is light like mine, you can use interfacing for it to make it stand. Thank you. So now I have turned um my um sleeve. I have stitched the side that I coughed upwards. So what I'm going to do now is to mark three inches. That is from where um what is it called? From my shoulder. For my shoulder i'll be going in by three inches and i'll be pinning it that in three three inches what i added when we were sewing was around like five inches but to make it gather well you can reduce to make it gather well you can reduce like i did from five to three so that you can gather well and give me that flow so what now what they're going to be doing is to be turning um your sleeve fabric to fabric lining to lining that's what you're going to do like i said before you, sh you should not add any allowance to your sleeve pattern the original sleeve pattern so you are just going to sew half an inch all the way um on your 
sleeve ah so after i was done this is what it was looking like i added trimmings to my to the edges of my so what i'm going to do from your armhole to five inches or we use a hand needle and thread to gather it manually so that um you can be able to see what is looking like adjust it if that's what you want to what it will look like before fixing it on your um on your outfit that's it for now so this is what it's looking like mine is not um is not a, a a strong um fabric so that's why it's not looking like it's hanging but at least when i actually fixed it on my dress it was giving me that effect that i wanted it to give me so it's just you using the right fabric i used crepe here so literally you might want to use something stronger or you can even use um crepe and add had a um, paper gum to make it stand very well so this is it thank you so much for watching please like subscribe thank you